In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to replace the passenger side valve cover on this 2015 Ford Transit with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. On my channel, I do two types of videos. I do videos for entertainment where I buy, diagnose, and fix cars. Then I also do how-to videos like this. In my how-to videos, I move pretty fast because if you're watching this, you probably already diagnosed a problem and you just wanna know what it's gonna take to fix it. If you're into that and you find this video helpful, hit the subscribe button quick before we get started. First thing we have to do is remove all of the hoses and wires that cover the valve cover. For this breather line, simply look for the gray tab, pull it up, and the connection will pop off. I'm going to take off both sides of this just to get it out of the way. Now move from the front to the back, disconnecting vacuum lines. First one will be this line that goes from here to the intake. This one's easy, just pull it right out of the intake and move it to the side. Second one goes from here down to the side of the engine. And this one you'll have a hose clamp that you can get to with a needle nose. And then pull it right off. The last one goes down to the wastegate actuator, so I'll just pull it right off of that. Then it's attached to the valve cover with a little clip you'll have to pry out. And you can move it off to the side. Now we'll remove this wiring harness that goes along the upper side of the valve cover. Start by removing these two sensors by prying up on the purple tab and then unplugging them. Pop this clip out. To get these wires completely out of the way, we're going to remove everything. So disconnect the plug for the throttle body. Then pull up on the plastic retainers holding the harness onto the studs. For this connector, you'll have a metal clip on the back side. You pull right out, then you can unplug it. Just a few more plastic retaining clips. Now that you're at the back, disconnect the camshaft position sensors. With that upper wiring harness out of the way, we want to move to the lower one and start by disconnecting the coil packs. If your connectors aren't broken, they should look like this one and have a red tab. That needs to be pulled down before you can press down and pull it off. Pop off any plastic retainers holding this wiring harness on. I should be able to pull this harness over to meet up with the other one. This is optional, but I'm going to be removing this to get better access to this bolt here. Now take out the three eight millimeters that are holding the coil packs in. Then pull each of the coil packs out. Now use a 10 millimeter deep socket, maybe some swivels and extensions to take out the 12 bolts around the valve cover. There are five down each side and then one on each end. So there's one there and one back here as you can see on the screen here. Now your valve cover should break free. Make sure to remove the gasket if it didn't come off with the valve cover. Now you've got everything off, but you'll want to keep watching because there's a few steps we have to take to prepare the engine for the new valve cover and a few sensors we have to transfer over. If I've been helpful so far, hit the subscribe button for me. Now you'll have to clean up the mating surface on the top of the head, particularly a few points where the timing chain cover meets the head, right here where there's RTV, right there, and then in back there's some RTV right here and right there. Use some sort of plastic, not metal scraper, and make sure not to let any of this fall inside the engine. Put some new gasket maker on the same spots where you had to scrape the old stuff off. For the back, I'm going to apply the gasket maker right to the gasket where the gasket gets thicker right here. That way I can see what I'm doing a lot easier. Now you can immediately fit the new valve cover and gasket back into place. 
Be careful not to smear the gasket maker you just put on. Once you get this in place, don't get your torque wrench out just yet. Take your socket and just hand tighten each bolt following this sequence on the screen, one through 12. Then read the packaging for whatever gasket maker you used. Most of the time you have to wait a certain amount of time before torquing down the bolts. Once you've got those all hand tight, set your torque wrench to 89 inch pounds and do the same sequence. Now we'll transfer some sensors from the old valve cover to the new one. This one twists out. You just have to be mindful of these little tabs. Just kind of pull up on it and it'll twist out. You can put it right back in the new one. For the camshaft position sensors, on this vehicle, I've got one held on by an 8 mil and one by an E10. I'll take these off one at a time and put them in the same spot on the new valve cover. Now all of the coils can pop back in and secure them in with the 8 millimeter bolts. These airlines that I had said were optional, I'm going to click back in. I'll plug in both camshaft position sensors in the back as I bring the wiring harness for the coils around. Got a couple plastic retainers that go on the studs that keeps this harness in place. Then I'll do the top wiring harness, clicking all of the plastic fasteners into place and coupling all the connectors. Don't forget the little metal clip that goes in this one. So just pop that clip in and then plug in your throttle body and then both of the VVT solenoids. Then I'll replace these two vacuum lines. The one on the back goes down to the wastegate actuator and has a little clip. The one on the front goes to the intake tube and if it's not broken, also has a clip. Then we got a third one that comes out of the turbo piping and up around here. This is the one with the hose clamp. Now this breather line will just push on. The elbow side goes on the valve cover and the other side goes onto the intake. Now everything's put back together, but once again, refer to the packaging or instructions for the gasket maker you used. In most cases, you have to wait 24 hours before putting it to use. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, or leave a comment on your way out.